Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna show you how I overdraw my lips. There's a pretty particular method that I use on a regular basis. You are going to need a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. Now these are all affordable, cruelty-free options for you guys, because the whole point is that this is way cheaper than lip fillers. So the main thing to keep in mind with your lip liner and lipstick is that they are in the same color family, but the lip liner should be a little bit darker than the lipstick or at least this method works best when it is that way. So this is the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. This is an awesome shade. If you have light to medium skin, maybe dark, um, this is an excellent lip liner choice for you. And then I'm gonna take the Glamour Dolls Lip Cream in Selfie. So this is more of a dramatic difference. Um, it's gonna work out just fine because we're gonna blend. Some makeup artists will tell you to do your lip liner before your lipstick, others will tell you to do it after your lipstick. Personally, when I'm drawing my lips, I do it first. It just helps me blend better. I like the lining after lipstick method. If you don't want that hard line and don't want to overdraw your lips, it can kind of make cleaning up your lip line easy. Um, but that's like not what we're doing here. We are like overdrawing the lips. So first, just make sure your lip liner is sharpened. And then, okay, this visual, not everybody gets it, but I think it's helpful. So if you look at my lips, um, by the way, I have already prepped this lip balm. You don't want to overdraw the outer corners. You just want to overdraw this area and then connect it to where the outer corners naturally are. So I'm gonna hold up my hands here and let's say that my hands are my top lip line, okay? A lot of people get clown lips because they overdraw their lips by moving the line up like this, like just completely parallel to where the original lip line was. No, 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 no. You wanna just angle it more upwards. Like you wanna take the angle from here, which is more flat, to here, which is more like, whoa. So for me, this is easiest if I start with the inner corner as opposed to the Cupid's bow. A lot of makeup artists will say to start with Cupid's bow. So just try it and see which one works better for you. But. When you do the inner corner, you have to open your mouth because that will allow you to actually get in there and not overdraw the inner corner because you don't want to do that. So you guys can just follow along. Okay, so you can see the difference already. I've overdrawn just this side on the top lip. Um, now, my top lip is thinner than my bottom lip, so I like to create balance there and kind of make the thickness of the upper lip match the bottom lip. But you can experiment and see what works best for you. So see over here, I kind of have a dip. It kind of goes like more. We want it to go smooth up. And I like my lips to be a little bit heart-shaped, so I draw my cupid's bow very rounded. Um, but usually when other makeup artists do my makeup, they leave my cupid's bow more pointy. So that's something that you can experiment with too. But just so you guys know, I'm drawing in more of a heart-shaped lip. Okay, so you guys see the difference, right? Now for the other side, I just continue with the cupid's bow and go down. I think just because I'm right-handed, it's easier. I don't really know, but I'm just gonna finish that up. And you can use this technique to balance if you feel like your lips are asymmetrical and you don't like that about your lips. Um, you can use the lip liner to correct that as well. So now that my upper lips match my bottom lip in thickness, I'm not really gonna overdraw the bottom lip. If it happens accidentally, we're just gonna go with it, but usually I try not to. But if you find that your upper lip is way thicker than your bottom lip, then you can just do the reverse of what I just did. But I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly line my bottom lip. Again, I'm gonna be really careful not to overdraw the outer corners. I'm not trying to overdraw it at all, but I'm gonna be especially careful to make sure my mouth is open and get in there rather than putting the line outside of where my natural lip line is. Okay, so I've lined my entire lips um, and I'm just going to fill in my lips with the lip liner a little bit. Basically, I'm kind of creating a fade from the lip line inward. Come on. 
I am going to take my lipstick, which is Glamour Dolls Selfie. And this one, as I showed you before, is lighter than the lip liner. So you may know from contouring and highlighting, wherever you put a darker color, it's going to recede more, and wherever you put a lighter color, it's gonna pop more. So if you put a lighter color on the center of your lips, it's gonna make your lips appear more full. Just like how when you put highlight on your cheekbone, it makes your cheekbone pop more. Just like how when you put a lighter shadow on the center of your lid, it makes your eyes look bigger. You see where I'm going with this? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the center of my lips. And I like to just kind of smack my lips together until it blends or I kind of use my finger um, and I just build it up a little bit at a time. Okay, so now that we've kind of lined our lips with a darker color and highlighted the center of our lips, we've created some nice dimension, which is awesome. You can take it to the next level by adding a light gloss or clear gloss, really, in the center of your lips. So I'm gonna take another Glamour Dolls product. This is the Gloss Knob in Topless. And I just find that because this gloss is nice and pigmented, it kind of helps meld the whole lip look together, so to speak. I don't really know. Okay, so that is it, you guys. The last thing that I would recommend doing if you wanna perfect it even more or you mess up or go too much out of the lines is taking a brush like this. This is the Push Liner Brush by NARS, but you guys know I also have a uh, paintbrush from the craft store that looks like this. Just dip this brush into a little bit of concealer and kind of clean up around the lip line. Um, another thing you can do is take your face powder or an eyeshadow that's close to your skin tone. This is Glamour Dolls Snow Day. And you can use this around your lip line and this, it'll clean up a little bit, like make it look a little bit sharper. But the main thing is, is that this will increase the wear time of your lip by creating like a textural barrier between the creaminess of your lipstick and the dryness of this powder. And there you have it, an overdrawn plump lip. So that's it for today, you guys. Please make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at CatEyeSophie so you don't miss any more looks or beauty tips from me. And otherwise, just let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.